Guillotine choke, oh my gosh. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Attack on Titan, episode 32, called Close Combat. Super excited for this one. If you like Attack on Titan, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you yeah. want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. Okay, here we are. Crazy end to the last episode. We saw Reiner and Bertolt transform. I'm going to return to the hometown we lost. Man, I'm already feeling it. Wow. I, don't, I almost feel like I'm gonna cry or something, bro. I've decided to kill them. I remember this scene. I wonder why everything is sort of on Eren. Because they were like, we'll stop doing it if you come with us. But like, why is it all on Eren? Aren't they titans themselves? You'll be able to do it. Man. This is insane. You damn traitors. Wow, straight into it. Oh. But he's a colossal titan though. And they write on the wall. What I'm saying is he's a colossal titan, so he's obviously powerful. It's just interesting how they have all these different types of like personalities of titans. I feel like your personality dictates what type of titan that you become if only i'd cut off their heads that was mikasa like the guy in the comments was saying he's brutal and the way bertold ribs man he's gigantic krista and who else oh my gosh I, th I think he's taking them, though. I don't think... I don't think he's eating them. I think he's taking them. Damn. This is gonna be interesting. But the thing is, he's so gigantic. It's almost like... That's gonna work against him. Wow, we've started this episode of insane. He's slow, that's what I'm saying. Oh, he's got that steam, I remember. That's what he did to Eren. That's like his defense. And he had like, she could crystallize the back of the neck. He's got the steam. Something is different. We're unable to attack him with the ODM gear. I mean, I'm sure he can't produce that steam forever, right? Even Annie was getting tired when she was busy running. Kill them. Well, now it's like I have to kill Bertolt and Reiner. I wonder who's the other one that he grabbed. What is Connie talking about? Has he lost it? Or maybe he didn't see? Oh my gosh, the face cracked clean off. But that's also the other thing. Eren is like a noob compared to like these titans. Bro, he's like a machine. Damn. Punched right a hole right in the face. But that's what I'm saying. Damn, he's conscious as well. But Eren's problem is that like the rage gets to him and he goes a little bit manic. 
Damn. Sword's broken. Oh my gosh. That's how he lost the hand. By just punching him. Like how on earth do you cut through that? I don't know what kind of face you're making right now. You guys really are the worst pieces of shit. Because <laughs> remember, it's because of Bertolt and Reiner that Eren's mom got killed. Because they're the ones who opened it up. No, no. Um, maybe it is, right? Because... No, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong there, but... That first original Titan looked like Bertolt. But, like, how old would he have been then? Damn! You big damn pest. Oh my gosh, dude, it's not even, he doesn't even compare. He doesn't even compare, and look, that's the thing. So the episode is obviously called Close Combat. So this is what we're going to see. <笑>あんたが力いっぱいぶつかってくるからこっちも相応の解消しなきゃいけないんだよ力で叶わなきゃなんで俺は倒れてて<笑> it's so crazy how this whole time over here, like, he was actually dealing with three titans inside of their squad. Oh. The triangle headlock. The head and arm choke. It's an like arm triangle. I don't know why I'm like... I didn't even... Couldn't think of the name right now. But it's an arm triangle. Oh. Oh, Mikasa. Damn, I didn't know they spawned. This is crazy. That move is is meant to be used against humans. On a beast like you. <laughs> it's happening. Damn, I didn't know they spawned. It's a big showdown. I bet my whole dinner on Mikasa. <laughs> John. Damn. Maybe this is why, you know, when, like, they originally spoke, when Mikasa, like, wanted to just kill her, that it was because it was from back here already. Doesn't Mikasa always say that? Why am I remembering this at a time like this? Don't try to fight him. The close combat. Oh, the arm triangle. Oh my gosh. Wow. He didn't lose control. Dude. That's insane. <laughs> Let's go, Aaron. Oh my gosh. Your plan has been full of flaws from the start. Oh my gosh, now he goes for the triangle choke. Armbar. Oh my god, he's gonna rip the shoulder. Dude, he's got a full triangle. He needs to grip the knee behind. Oh, switches to the armbar. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my word, he's gonna break the oh the hyper extension on the arm. 
Dude, it broke the arm. Dude, what is this, dude? I didn't know they had like full MMA in this show. Damn, man, that was that transition from the the triangle to the armbar was not bad. And that's actually the one Anderson Silva had on Chael Sonnen, where you have the shoulder with the triangle. What is that? Did Bertolt attack? Oh, what? He's back in control. Hannes. But look, he's completely disappearing. Oh, he's never seen it before. Damn, Hanji went straight onto his shoulder. Dude, <laughs> she goes straight onto his shoulder. Like last time Mikasa got that close, he nearly like killed her. Use your head and figure out the best course of action. What is she blushing about? <laughs> That's so crazy. Damn. That's such a that's such a huge thing actually. This time running away is is a guaranteed victory. It's you guys that are screwed for revealing something. Man, I'm just so excited. Can't even keep up. Wait, what? Oh He had to break the, the arm around his feet to go fast. Now, but the, the heel hook is there. Oh my gosh, I called it. Oh my good, the sweep. Damn. Dude, this is crazy. I can't believe they're fighting like this. Arm bars, the triangles to leg locks and sweeps <laughs> like that's insane dude yeah exactly so there is weak points but like i mean you could see all the red right oh mikasa is gonna slice the knees Guillotine choke! Guillotine choke! Oh my gosh! Guillotine choke! Dude! Whoever made this show, <laughs> that's insane, bro. What? Dude! Give me that neck! Oh my word, he's gonna pop the head clean off. Oh, she's Mikasa slices the back of the knees. Wow, what a crazy, what an episode. Oh, that's going to remove mobility for his base. Oh, they can, they can slice the neck. It's open. <laughs> Pull the traitor out of there. Oh my gosh, what is the show, bro? I can win. Oh, he put down. Oh my word, he's driving forward, and that's what you have to do to relieve the pressure. Technically, he wants to push him up against the wall. That way, it'll like relieve pressure from Aaron, like pulling back. I mean, I don't know if they'll go into that much detail, but that's what you would do. You'd crawl to the cage, you'd move over, and then have Aaron sort of bunched up. And he won't be able to pull back. Oh my word, he's calling other titans. Oh, calling Bertolt. Oh, that's right, he's calling titans. But remember, isn't the beast titan there? 
Like, I'm not forgetting about that. Oh. What? Oh my word, he's gonna just fall straight onto him. No! Oh my gosh, what a show. What, oh my goodness. Absolutely amazing. I was not expecting that at all. Like, I was literally giving the play-by-play, because -play, obviously I'm a, I am did combat myself, combat sports, MMA, blah, 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 blah. I watch MMA all the time and to see the techniques being done was insane you know but let's just start off a little bit before that i mean the whole episode was essentially just about close combat that's what they were calling it but man that was actually so cool you know what what's funny right a long time ago i said that it would be cool if there was an anime that like heavily focused on mma but it had powers not exactly like this but think about like dragon ball z but it's like they do mma in it and like when they go for like a takedown they're like smash the guy into a mountain and stuff and those types of things this is the closest that that has come to life that i've seen so far because they like if you watch the techniques very closely he's doing all the right things even the way he transitioned from the triangle to the arm bar and then even with the leg sweep how he butterflied the one leg or he grapevine the one leg and then swept with the left from the back of the of the knee and then rolled him over and he used it to stand up you know because you there's two types of ways to do it you you can actually use that momentum and you can get into top position and you can actually have a leg or you can use it to stand up so you sweep him and then get back to your feet that's obviously what Aaron did there but I think one of the biggest factors was that he didn't rage and go crazy and he was actually looking back to that flashback of the move that Annie used which is like basically it's a it's a standing arm triangle and I've actually seen guys get finished like standing on the feet like that you can actually choke someone out in that position Normally, you would have to have, like, the cage up against just for more leverage. But it's always used. Actually, I don't want to get too much into, like, UFC and stuff. But the there was a fight recently, Trickers Duplessis versus Robert Whittaker. And actually, he did that exact same trip. So it can work in, like, a real-life situation. But anyways, that's the one that Annie did to him. And he had, like, the wherewithal to do that technique because normally he rages. And then a bigger part is where... Hanji was actually able to sit on the or stand on the shoulder and he kind of like agreed with her and nodded. That was a big moment. Yeah, then he, you know, he goes for the takedown. Aaron goes and does the guillotine choke. He's like, give me that neck. He even had the, <clears throat> the, the body lock. Not the body lock, but he had his legs closed around the waist, which is proper position. That gives you leverage to pull back and actually put pressure on the choke. And yeah, actually destroying the back of the neck because obviously these guys are like insanely powerful and then we see you know he screamed and called Bertold, and the reason he did that and that was why he was originally doing the crawl right he wanted to crawl so he was underneath him so, to help him you know obviously i did mention that you know in a fight you would crawl to with your like the guy on his back you'd crawl to the fence and put that pressure against his neck so I can't really pull back as much. And you can try get your way out of it if, you're, if the arms do get tired. But crazy episode. Um, I'm, I'm really I'm happy that I got to see actual techniques. You know, it's very rare that you actually see that. But anyways, great episode. Can't wait for the next one. That's going to be it from me. If you like Attack on Titan, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you Yo! want to subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date because I'm trying to release every single day of the week. Just been a bit busy. But I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.